Hello and welcome to aup.co.uk. Is that the name of the podcast? aup.co.uk. .k.uk. k.up.u.k. Wait, is Darren you? Darren? Dylan? Darren? Dylan? What? Darren. Dobbin. Is, <laughs> is Dobbin your stepfather now? I've then? legally disowned him in my head. <laughs> Can you do that? I'm going to refer to him. I'm going to refer to him as Dobbin now. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried offering him an, him an apple? <laughs> Yep. Dobbin. He could go Bobbin for Apple. <laughs> Dobbin's Bobbin. Batman and Dobbin. <laughs> he could he could have a Robin farm that produces apples, and then every Halloween yeah. he can do Dobbin's Bobbin. And then he he could like dress up as Batman and Dobbin. But who so, would, who would Batman be? Um, I don't know Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Who's Bruce Wayne? Oh, you mean that rich billionaire? Oh, yeah, yeah, him. Oh, him. He couldn't possibly be Batman. What's wrong with you? <laughs> well, no, that's why he'd pretend to be Batman. Tr- Farmer Dobbin would pay him. Farmer um... Dobbin? <laughs> <laughs> Farmer Dobbin. Are you Farmer Dobbin? <laughs> Farmer Dobbin would pay, would pay him in rich, juicy apples to like, <laughs> pretend to be Batman for <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Dobbin with Bobbin and Robin. <laughs> Bobbin with Dobbin and Robin. <laughs> Such you Dobbin. Pay, pay him in like crisp, juicy apples. To dress up as Batman from, from Apple Bobbin with Farmer Dobbin. Apple Bobbin with <laughs> Farmer Dobbin. <laughs> you could be Robin. <laughs> Maybe he could be a burglar. And then you could go Robin with Dobbin. <laughs> Robin with Dobbin. He's he's a pastor of a church now, is he? (laughs) Father Dobbin. Maybe 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 he could be a teenager, and then you could go clobbing with Dobbin. (laughs) (laughs) Or maybe he'd be um, maybe he'd be um part of the mafia, and then you'd be mobbing with Dobbin. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Not a good start then. Um, <laughs> We're not actually using this for a podcast, are we? <laughs> Apple bobbin with Farmer Dobbin. <laughs> I, I'm going to make the jingle for that. Wait one moment. Bobbin with Dobbin. Hey, up. hey, Clara, do you want to host a chat show? Um, <laughs> okay. Tom, who should we have on as a celebrity guest? Can we get Mary Berry on? <laughs> I've only met her once, all right? Once is enough. Oh, yeah. You're practically friends. <laughs> You're best friends. Oh. Will you get such, your BFF such Mary Berry on, please? BF. Will you get your BFF Mary Berry on, please? Yes, on I'll try. So we can have some witty banter with her on our chat show. It, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know really how to answer that. <laughs> Does Mary Berry have, like, a chat show or not? No. No. She's the host of Great... Well, she's the judge on Great British Bake Off. I don't think that that entitles you to have a chat show. Uh, If Jeremy Kyle can do it, anyone can. It's not really a chat show, though. No. But (laughs) she could make some money on the side. I'm waiting with bated breath. (laughs) Oh, You certainly got the jangly part right. <laughs> what did you think? Um, <laughs> it was jangly. Yeah, I like I it. All, all, all together positive. If Although it's a c- cacophony if you listen to the original. Do you oh, include the words A up in there? Basically, um, it goes... <laughs> and just before the A up bit, it's going to go A up. I thought I was listening to the <laughs> intro of Take On Me for a moment now. Tom. What? Can we have the intro to Take On Me as our jingle? No. Why not? Because it's copyrighted <laughs> and I don't own the copyright. Copyright. Who are you?
No, we're not affiliated with UKIP, not this again. <laughs> it says a lot about our podcast that we actually feel the need to clarify that. We're just a ragtag bunch of kids. And. Uh, uh, Are we the, like the crew of. The, the crew? The protagonists of Scooby Doo? <laughs> and I wouldn't what? have got. I would, I would have gone away with it if it wasn't for you, ragtag bunch of kids hosting it, internet radio. We are the. Aircast. The, no, we're not aircast. <laughs> I'm going to buy the domain notaircast.co.uk <laughs> and it's going to redirect to AOP. <laughs> you are not listening to Aircast. <laughs> That's how we're going to open our next episode. Hello, you're not listening to Aircast. AOP. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst jingle in the world. <laughs> what the gonna... I think Clara's back. I am. Hello. 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 I'm going to go? send the file to Sam Rabbit. so that he knows just how awful it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> the thing just kind of reeks of unprofessionalism. So, Sam, I hear that you have recently started a new year at school. I have. <laughs> Lol. They <I> forced. <laughs> well. Uh, I don't know. And use... I thought you were trying to be genuinely interesting. Yeah, I was. And, and then I realised I could turn it into an insult. You know that we've been recording now for about 20 minutes, and we've only got five minutes of usable footage, most of which is a conversation about Apple bobbing with Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Should we record some stings? The uh, wasp, hornet, tracker jacker. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Amazing. Um, no. <laughs> uh, right, Sam. Yes. You need to say you're listening to Ayo. Hello. You're listening to Ayo. You're listening to Ayo. And in a slightly different voice to the last time. You're listening to Ayo. Why is it Ayo? <laughs> Sounds like we're trying to force it at our listeners. <laughs> kind you're of listening are. to Ayo. Deal with it. <laughs> kind of are. Kind of are. That's the only reason we actually get you. Because we force ourselves on people. You will listen and oh, you will enjoy context, 2014. Yeah, such context. I'm thinking we need, um, we need, we need a motto. Hey up. Mm. How's it going? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Want a cup of tea, love? <laughs> the show that you can watch with a cup of tea in one hand. As opposed to most shows, which require a cup of tea held firmly in two hands. Exactly. <laughs> our so show, edgy. you can watch... They're so with... edgy, they might rock your world. <laughs> you can listen to our show with, with a cup of tea in one hand and a biscuit in the other. So... Ooh, what if you dunk one and one falls in the other? What would you do then? Well, how, you, how could you make a cup of tea fall into your biscuits? <laughs> uh, well, if you drop your biscuit in your tea, then um, you should have bought the thing that they're tea. trying to advertise at the minute. I forgot what it's called. Uh, there's like a thing they're advertising on television at the minute. And it's like, a, I think I can't remember what it's called, like a biscuit saviour. And um, if you dip your... A biscuit saviour. If you dip a biscuit into a cup of tea, it's likely that the biscuit will fall out at some... Well, fall in half at some point. <laughs> fall out. Yeah, fall out of the cup of tea. <laughs> if you dip a biscuit in a cup of tea, it's likely the biscuit will fall out. I'm going to have to quote you on that on Facebook. Uh, thank you so much. But yeah, it's likely that the biscuit will fall in half. So this product is meant to allow you to catch whatever is left of your biscuit. <laughs> like at the bottom of your cup, you like lift this basket out. And it's just filled with that mushy biscuit. So, is, it, is it like kind of a chip pan grill? A bit like that, yeah. Like like one of the fryer baskets. <laughs> the fryer basket for a cup of fryer tea. basket for digestive biscuits. <laughs> just dip your biscuit in. Wow. Put, the, put biscuit in fryer basket. <laughs> it's a peak of scientific innovation. Dip into your cup of tea and enjoy biscuity free tea.
<laughs> Biscuity free tea. Biscuity free tea. In other, in or also accomplished by kind of not dipping a biscuit in your tea in the first place. Ah, now you've got to dip a biscuit in a cup of tea. You've got to. See, I am a tea snob. I know these things. Typically British. Are you still trying to work out what I'm talking about, Sam? Because you've got all quiet. <laughs> no, I'm quoting you on Facebook. Oh, I see. I, I thought you might be concentrating. <laughs> a biscuit in in a your tea in an your tea in an your tea. Are you using your phone? <laughs> you know, a biscuit in your tea. Really? Like <laughs> you got an cup of tea. <laughs> Will fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is this is going so well. <laughs> we have some quality footage. Mm. Thank you. I think our determination of quality is slightly different. Um, um, my voice is too sore. Clara I hasn't actually mind. spoken at all throughout the entire. No, I haven't. <laughs> she's agreed with me on the biscuit thing just because she's allowed <laughs> a Skype call if she does. <laughs> hey up! You're listening to hey up. Is that really interesting? <laughs> yeah, it's... Hey up. <laughs> hey up. <laughs> Do you have Yorkshire blood running through your veins? Do you mean Yorkshirean? <laughs> Very likely. <laughs> Just the blood of Yorkshire coursing <laughs> through your veins. <laughs> what, so you like decapitated Sean Bean? <laughs> no, at birth. <laughs> at, at, in Yorkshire, at birth, they give you a, a blood transfusion. And um, they, they what, give... What, like, with... with blood imbued with kind of dirt from the moors. I was thinking yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I can't really think of anything else that comes from your Ew, you're listening to Ew. Sam just got plunged okay. into darkness. <laughs> it happens every time you leave me, Thomas. Don't want to close me eyes. <laughs> Don't want to fall asleep. <laughs> this show is going to be like the least popular show in Yorkshire. <laughs> Is <laughs> David alli- allowed on it? <laughs> we can just argue he's from Poland, Yorkshire. <laughs> Polish Yorkshire? I'm going to Google Poland's <laughs> Yorkshire and see Wait, if it moment. comes up. I, I will be back in a moment. Wait, just pause for Poland's a Yorkshire. Is Yorkshire Poland a thing, then? Apparently there's a place in Poland called Yorkshire. <laughs> Holiday <laughs> Cottages, spell. Yorkshire, Poland. Like it's spelt in English. Go to www.meetpoland.com forward slash Poland forward slash holiday cottages. Sorry, holiday hyphen cottages hyphen Yorkshire hyphen Poland dot htm. Mm-hmm. Did you go there? No. I'm going to send you a link. Thank you. That's a lot easier. <laughs> yeah, good, good. I've sent you a link. What were you saying about this being the least... It's going to be the least popular show in Yorkshire. Apparently, there's a place in Poland called Yorkshire. Oh, my God. Look. Oh, today I learnt. Holiday Cottage is Yorkshire, Poland. Shall I make a tiny URL? Does anyone else Um, remember those? No, I don't actually know what they are. I'm going to make a tiny URL. Uh, That was kind of a prompt for you to explain to me what they were. I know. Um... If you go to tiny... Okay, Sam, go to tinyurl.com forward slash Polish Yorkshire. It will take you to the page that we were just on. (laughs) Okay. Why? Just go there. Have a look. No. Exactly. That hurts, Sam. (laughs) Sorry, friend. Do you need some butter for that burn? My grandmother does that. What? You got <laughs> butter into your burn. Exactly, yeah. If you burn your thumb in my grandma's kitchen, she makes you put it into butter. So you she... know that's actually bad for them. Yeah, she fries the like burn. The <laughs> she fries the burn. Your grandmother trying to cook you. Well, you never know. She's, she's constantly trying to fatten me up, so... Traditional Greek cuisine, roast grandchild. <laughs> First of all, uh-huh. you take a tall mass. <laughs> we should get my grandma on the podcast. <laughs> oh my god, yes. yes. We will do that. She's in Cyprus at the minute and she's visiting her sisters. Does she um, have Skype? No. Then we could call She's 70 Skype. something. I don't even know how old she is. She doesn't have Skype. <laughs> she calls the internet the Indanex. <laughs> internet. Indanex. Indanex. And That's she calls YouTube, she doesn't call YouTube YouTube, she calls it the Chooms. 
back can... to the topic of heated debate. Let's have a discussion about. I'm going. Oh. I'm going onto Google. Okay, oh. I've got a debate topic. Ooh. Okay. How about that Gordon Brown, hey? Okay, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, it says yep. free discussions, topics to be debated, and number 43 is grow fat and be happy. Um, <laughs> I'll pass, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I'm going to pass that one. Um, is that talking about, like, growing fat in the way of, like, stem cells? Or... No, it's like, um, do you remember the adipose on Doctor Who? Yes, I do I, remember the adipose. I, I, yeah, you basically, it. fat just kind of, like, jumps off of your body. Um, <laughs> You are immediately happy. <laughs> That's okay. going to be some form of social parody. Let's change this topic. It's not doing well. <laughs> <laughs> no. How about coming up with a kind of oh, slightly more okay. regular topic of conversation? Sam, if you won one million pounds, what would you do with it? Um, probably... Um... You, should oh, take us all, you should take us on an all-expenses-paid trip to North Korea. I told you, I'm not going no. with you on a package trip to North Korea. How many times do we have to go over this? <laughs> this is no lie. We have been over this about five times in the past day or two. I settled, okay, I agreed on New York, but the DPRK is pushing it a bit far. What, are you implying that it's worse than America? Okay. Clara, if you won a million pounds, what would you spend it on? I'd obviously give it all to charity. That's would a you? really crap Wouldn't answer. Sam, what would you do? I'd invest it and then give the money from that investment to charity. Uh, See, I'm a better person than you, Clara. You both <laughs> come up with really <laughs> crap answers. <laughs> um, what I, I would do I is I would go on an all-expenses-paid tour of North Korea. <laughs> what, again? <laughs> After I've already bought you one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to go back again. The first time is like getting to wait getting to know your way around and the second time is like actually holidaying like partying hard in the Pyongyang Nigel Farage couldn't like maintain order in a toddler's playground <laughs> 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 Mr Farage <laughs> Mr Farage he hit me <laughs> is that a child speaking to their mother or a child speaking to Nigel Farage <laughs> <laughs> well depending well <laughs> <laughs> is he pro corporal punishment or not? Uh, yeah, of course he is, but only if they're under 10. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants an excuse to hit children. Oh, and it's not punishment, it's kind of a mandatory part of everyday routine. Yeah, you have to ride on a horse down the high street of your town with a large stick and hit the children on their way to school. <laughs> did you ever do like a walk to school scheme? Um. Yeah. No, well, I did, but it was called Walking to School. I don't know about you. No, because in um, Radley, which is where I, where I went to primary school until I was in year two, so I was yeah. there for three years, uh, they had like a walk to school scheme, and I don't remember them doing it in Ipswich, but uh, basically the entire class would get together with your parents and you would all walk to school. What, we why? Didn't have that. Because it, right, you, basically you did it, and it cut down on the six or seven cars that actually drove to Radley School. Yeah, we had a... Walking, yeah, walking bus crocodile thing. What is a walking bus crocodile thing? <laughs> um, it's like, like crocodile formation. Uh, it's not like a giant plastic crocodile that you carry on your shoulders as you walk. Don't think so. No, no, that was the later years. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the way you say formation, it makes me think of like Roman legionaries just like <laughs> marching. Tom, what what what, do you, what what are your opinions on whether children should be um, forced to make a working bus? I don't know, what was the question? Uh, it was, um... Oh, <laughs> should children be forced to make a work... Could children... Should children be forced to make a working bus? <laughs> <laughs> should children be forced to make a working bus? And on that note, I leave you with this. It's always hard to explain puns to kleptomaniacs because they always take things literally. <laughs> <laughs>